All right, what is good, everybody, and welcome back to Coastal Carolina Dynasty. Currently, we are five and three, and we are going to simulate to the next week because it is a crucial one. It is a very crucial one where we have a lot of possible commitments happening. Davarius Jasmine goes to Clemson. Wow. How did we get jumped so easily? Huh, for some reason we're back in the race for Yuga though. But what the heck? The various has committed to Clemson and Jaleel Rahman has committed to South Carolina. I'm going to kill whoever runs South Carolina. That's what I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do because I am tired. I am tired of those motherfuckers. Wow. What, what, so what's up with this playing stuff? Anyways, that's insane. We really missed out on the various Jasmine. I don't know what they did to jump us, but that is so tough. That is so immensely tough. Fuck, man. That is not what I needed. That is not what I needed at all. That, sorry, that just took me completely by surprise. Now they're jumping me for Sean Davis? Put the shit back on him. Put the shit back on him. Damn, I can't even get him to... To come visit for that. Um, okay, wait, wait. I can't do anything prematurely. Um, so you're already gone. You're you're gone. So we don't have a center. Um, and we're gonna get rid of the various, unfortunately. So you still don't have us anywhere near your top. We're not even ranked. So that's unfortunate, and we might just take him off. We'll we'll just hope that Ethan Vasco comes back. Because at this point, getting a QB in this class is not going to be easy. Wire, though, has us at the top. And we can get him committed soon, hopefully. Um, Casey York also has us at the top. Hunt was basically our backup for Hugo. Now, Hugo seems like he may come back. Hold on. Hard sell. If we can get those bottom three... Right here, playing time, playing style, and proximity to home. If we can do that, we would have to send the house. But we have to see what other players we need to possibly get. Um, there's no point of having you... Okay, sorry. I'm talking out loud, so I'm not really commentating that much. Um, I'm kind of just expecting Dominique Abram to come here. You are still coming to us. You are the one that we possibly have to add a little more to um so we'll give you contact friends and family like you were before and then you more than likely aren't coming to our team it's okay i don't need you um i got deandre cole possibly coming crick has interest in us a significant amount and he is also wait isn't he uh right outside Oh, no, he's an edge rusher. Oh, wow. All of a sudden, he got interested. I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed at all. Um, let's do in top five. Let's focus on these guys more. Because um, we have to get some sort of a class this year. So you have us at the top. You have us at the top. You have us at the top. You don't, but that's okay. Um, Hugo... Okay, so hold on. We're going to give him send the house. That's what we'll do for him. Okay, 25. 25 and 10. So we, we have significant amount left still um, of hours. So a little bit of both since he... Since we somehow jumped to the top for his list. And I think that's going to be it. 
Um, we added a little bit to Sean Davis, so hopefully he ends up coming. If not, then we'll commit more. I don't know how likely Hugo is to come to the team, even with us DMing friends and family and time to get to work. We're spending a lot of time trying to get him. So hopefully he sees that. Hopefully he commits. And hopefully you fucking commit too, Dominic Abram. Because if you don't, we have no wide receivers in this draft, in this class. Um, I hope I didn't say draft class before. We don't have a center, which I guess we're just going to have to bite the bullet on until further notice. Because there's just no way that we're going to be able to get that. There's not. Um, so we have to commit some more to the elite recruiter situation because I feel like we don't have enough hours for certain people say like not wide receiver but who was somebody that we were struggling with I mean we'll probably need it for the edge rusher so if we can get it for like defensive end or outside linebacker I might commit it to outside linebacker to be honest okay wait so let's commit it to can we what sucks is that you can't take it off that's what really sucks um Let's do it with defensive line on the first one. Sign two top five recruiting classes. Yeah, that's just not going to happen. Um, recruiting actions give a bonus to D line. Okay, we'll just we'll do two on the defensive line and then we'll figure out the rest later. Um, fuck, man. All right, we have to get into this game against Applicant State. We've already taken long enough for this. It's a crucial game regardless. Hopefully, Devarius Jasmine is still watching, but at the same time, I basically got rid of him. So, just gonna have to hope for the best. The stadium is rocking for this game. Applicant State, get him down at two, whoa, second and five, Jesus, I'm already nervous. Regardless, we still need to win, no matter if they're here or not. Third and six. Oh, come on. We got to stop them with that. Oh, let's go. Second and 10. Second and 10. It's a read. Why are you falling back? You see where he's going. Why are you going backwards? Who's that on? That's on you. That's on you. Third and six. Let's go. Oh, go get him. Go get him. Let's go. Great tackle. Right down the middle. Give me some yards. Let's go. Second and one. Ah, third and nine. Jesus. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful first down. Let's go. Oh, let's go. First down, Washington. Ah, oh, fuck. I tried to get it over, but his throw power sucks. It really seems like Tucker was out for a lot longer than that one game, which is very concerning but a dot from vasco gets it to car car makes a juke makes him hit the floor and he gets the first and gets to the 33 going with the easy check down oh my god oh my god come on now oh beautiful pass by vasco to coleman is that Coleman, or is that another one of our backups that's going to show out while Tucker's gone? Let's go, TFL, second and 14. Oh, get him down. Let's go, fourth and two. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Get out there. Oh, my gosh. Okay. All right. Uh, okay, that's fine. End of the first, it seems. And it ends off on that. He actually got up and got it himself. Bro, I couldn't even have time to get the pass off. Oh, beautiful. Hold on to it. No. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I was so afraid he was going to pick that off. I tried to get the ball off, bro. God, like 20 seconds ago. Now I have to make up for all those yards. Oh, Washington, go get that ball. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. He's staying up. He gets us to the five. Holy. Oh, my gosh. I feel like I have to give him the ball. Oh, 
Fuck! Oh! Back to the end zone! Oh. Yeah, yeah, I almost have to go for it. Fuck. Touchdown for Washington! It ends up coming back to him regardless. And that's what we needed. 14 to 0. Oh. Beautiful TFL, Whitson. Oh. Beautiful! Another TFL! Fourth and 12. Lock in! Oh. Go. Easy. You gave up on him. You gave up on him. And Barong is going to make you pay. Just like next year. Let's go. Oof. Beautiful. First and goal. Come on, Carr. Go get that touchdown. Fuck. Third and goal. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 21 to 0. Vasco's having himself a day, and so is the rest of the offense. No. We literally hit him right whenever he got the ball. There's no way he holds on to that. Wow. Wow, McDoom. You just got cooked. Oh, that's a screen. If I can stay up and not get fucking pummeled by the offensive line... Gosh, 28 seconds. We have to at least hold him to a field goal. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh, <sighs> oh beautiful, beautiful. Fourth and goal. Let's go. All right, we're just going to run out the clock. We're not going to do any risky shit. We're just going to run the ball. And go into halftime. Holy. Holy. Washington is going crazy today. But we're going into halftime. One of the better halves that we've had all season. We just have to keep it up going into the second half. We cannot risk it like we have before. Oh my gosh. Simpkins. Oh my gosh. Simpkins. Taking it back, back-to-back -back games of having a return touchdown. The third string running back is able to take it all the way to the house. And you get excited seeing that type of stuff from the third and fourth string players that are going to be able to play next year. Because we might not have such a deep class, but we're trying to get the key pivotal players. But that guy right there might just be our next best running back. Oh, big hit. Sends the running back to the ground with a fumble, and Pinkney picks it up. Wow, we are cooking today. Oh, get out there. He? Oh, my gosh. Washington. Washington, get in there. Let's go. Easy money. Washington gets his second touchdown of the day. And we're having ourselves a day on the day that we needed it the most. Just to secure... Oscar Rave from going anywhere and maybe maybe we'll see Jasmine come back who knows oh how do we push him forward bro beautiful beautiful second and 11 oh my gosh how what oh come on we gotta get him down beautiful Beautiful McDoom. Okay, now we're starting to see injuries. This is concerning. Oh my gosh. First and goal. Oh my gosh. They finally get a touchdown. I'm just hoping that I can stop the momentum of theirs before they even get it started. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh, Washington. Oh, fuck, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Why, 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 why did you throw it like that? Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, beautiful, second and six. 
Oh my gosh, no. No way. No way. Fuck. Oh, we got a true clock. That's all we can do. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Insane. Oh, beautiful. Oh, get off me. Fuck. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Get one more, then. Beautiful. Washington, three touchdowns on the day. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. 42 to 17. As we still have Oscar Ray visiting. Now, it might have been intimidating with the way that our running back played, but Oscar Ray visited nonetheless. And maybe, maybe Jasmine did. I'm not 100% sure. But that right there is very impressive by Christian Watson. Watson. Did I say Watson? Washington. Christian Washington. 127 yards and three TDs. And now we have to move on to the next one. We don't have anybody visiting that one because it is an away game. But we do have week 13 that we could possibly plan out for. Moving on to the next week. Week 12. We have to see who decides to come to us. And it is going to be... Not Jasmine, but Hugo has committed to UCF so we got right back into it just to get out that's great our center is not liking the way that we play which is wild so I guess he's gonna probably transfer at the end of the year Sean Davis ended up going to Carolina go fuck yourself bro um Donovan Abram up to his top three we're still in the clear I just don't see anybody else coming up on us Calamity top three schools Still the first. York top three first, and we've gained some traction. Um, Crick has us as his first in his top eight, and Wire has us at first as well. So it all looks good right now. Um, there goes Christian Washington with his stat line. That's a hell of a stat line, really. But hopefully we can improve on that come next week. Um, player of the week, too. And we have to take a look at the recruiting now. Because we have 100 hours. UCF got Hugo, so he's gone. Um, we still have Dwayne Hunt trying to come to us. So we're good on that. And Donovan Dabram. So 100 hours. Kelamedi. I could get you to visit, but for some reason it won't let me do it, so I don't know what to do. The only thing that I can do is do a hard sell. Oh, I don't have enough hours. What about a sway? Okay, that doesn't count either. Um, soft sell. Nope, not enough. Okay. So, well, let's do this. We'll take off this, and then we'll put soft sell on whatever he likes so but this is a soft sell right yeah it's a soft sell we'll do this we'll do this hopefully he doesn't mind too much um on that so strong safety so now we have to get a defensive tackle again because you can go fuck yourself and the rest of these guys look good right tackle is York middle linebacker okay so we don't have we have a left guard do we okay left guard right tackle center is the one that we were trying to look for previously you're so interesting to me because like nobody's going after you but we're just like at the top which is weird okay so I'm gonna take a little look and see what I can add and then we'll talk more Okay, so I'm going to show you what I've been doing. So I'm trying to get another tight end. Since Carr is going to be on his way out, I like the two tight end situation. So George Darkwall is 6'6", 256, and is a possession tight end. Then we're trying to get a center, also sending the house. And he's a three-star, has a lot of top schools trying to go after him. I'm hoping that he ends up just putting us at the top by next week. 
but we'll have to see that in the coming episodes. Okay, so instead of a center, we're going after a quarterback. He is 639th ranked and has a lot of top schools. And we'll probably find out by next week if we're in his top eight just by finding out. Because there's not really a much else that we're trying to go after right now um, that we haven't already committed to. So we have to see if we can make it into his top eight, maybe even top three, and jump past Georgia and teams like that. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to see in the next episode of that. And I like how it's going right now. I wish I could figure out how to get more hours, but I, I, I don't know if that's possible, but we are six and three facing Marshall who was two and seven. So we're going to have to see if we beat them. I, I don't want to underestimate them. Kendall Carr pushing for Heisman right now, 1,300 yards, 15 receiving touchdowns. Maybe we should push it to him today. Oh, beautiful. I, I know I saw Circle getting open, but I want Carr to get it. Oh, beautiful. First down, light work. Oh, yeah. Here we go. First down. Oh my gosh, Washington. Make Oscar rave. The backup for the foreseeable future with the way you've been playing, boy. Fuck. Oh. Oh my gosh, how do you hold on to that when I'm right there? Oh, big hit. Second and five. Oh, big hit. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's a screen. I thought it was a... What? Okay. All right. Oh. Get to him. We're wrong. Bro, you got to hold on to those, dog. Beautiful. Beautiful, Bennett. Let's go. No, 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 no. Oh, he still held on to it, though. But I was trying to go car because he was open. Let's see if he's open again. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Car for the touchdown. We're trying to stat pad him so he can get that Heisman trophy. I need him to. Let's not let some stupid crap happen like the last time, please. Oh, a double fake. Ends up going to the check down anyways. Oh, no. Oh, it's stick of hell. Oh, big hit for the TFL. Second and 12. Fourth and 14. And it's the end of the first. But they are probably going to punt it. Oh. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go, Coleman. Let's go, Coleman. Oh, my gosh, Washington. You are so... Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's go, Washington. Oh, that's the first pick of the game. Hopefully our last. Jesus. Try to fit it into a tight space. Oh, well, it's a pick six. So, great. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Kendall. Oh, yeah, Kendall. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Kendall Carr again. And he gets the touchdown. Ooh. Christian Washington and Kendall Carr are both very, very insane players. Oh. Pick. By Bru uh, uh, And he's not able to get the touchdown. That's wild. But a pick by number one. I've never seen him before. Oh, fuck. fuck. All right, Washington, I need you to get another one. No, 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 no. What the fuck? How he holds on to that blows me. Oh, God. Jeez. 
Oh, let's go. Gosh. Oh, one of you. One of you just had to be waiting there for the pick, man. Oh, I fucked that up. I completely fucked that up. That's completely my fault. Fuck. I completely fucked that up. Gosh, why did I switch on and do that? Uh, finally, second and goal. Beautiful. Third and goal. Oh, let's go! Fourth and goal. How? How did you not see that shit, Shane Bruce? Gosh. Did he hold on to it? Holy fuck. He almost went up and got that halftime, and it's tied. Oh, because of some buffoonery. 28 to 28. Give me that. Thank you. That's what I fucking needed. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Washington. Let's go. Let's fucking go, bro. Finally. Let's go! Second and 16. Oh, you had to be able to get that. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh, you have to be fucking kidding me, bro. Gosh. Who? I like it. I like it regardless. Oh, first and ten. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. We're just going insane with Washington today. Oh, let's go. Fourth and one. That's what the fuck I needed. Oh, beautiful. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful, Bennett. Oh, oh, Washington. God, you're a fucking menace. Let's go. Fuck. You're going insane. Oh, screen. Oh my gosh, we got fucking debt. Oh, come on. You have to step up on that five. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Beautiful. At the one. At least it's not a touchdown right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. What the fuck? How were you able to do that? What? No way. That's fucked, bro. Washington, I'm going to run the clock down, but I wouldn't mind you getting a touchdown either. Oh, there was an opening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful blocking. Beautiful blocking. Get the first. Let's go. First down. And finally, victory formation after Washington... Gets 180 yards and five touchdowns. It went from Kendall Carr being the focal point to Christian Washington. And that man, that man is a menace. He is an absolute menace. Jesus. And only on 16 rushing attempts. That's the wildest part. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. And that is going to do it for this episode I think next episode is going to be the last one of the season, which is exciting because then we'll finally see who's committed to us completely, who we can still get maybe in the transfer market. 
yeah we have two more games left and then the rest is by and i don't assume that we're going to be making it to a bowl game there's just better teams in the sun belt it seems but if you did enjoy that please go down there and like so more people can see it give me some ideas down in the com comments below if you have anything specific to make the series better or to bring another one who knows i'm open to anything and subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of coastal carolina dynasty for the rest of college football 25 because i'm loving this game more than i did madden at any point so i'm excited and i hope you are too and i'll see you in the next video peace